Hello everyone, and welcome to Board Game Replay. In this video, you're going to be joining us for one of our full games from our epic card game, Draft Night. Now, if you just stumbled upon this video first, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to put a link in the description here to our standard replay format of the epic card game. I highly recommend that you watch that video first. It'll give you a better explanation for kind of what's going on here tonight and some more context for kind of the format of what we're doing here. But for those of you who came here to watch the game, we're going to get right to it. All right, so we've got our decks set up here. Um, we've got our 30-card decks that we've both drafted, and we're just doing this one-on-one. -on -one. We did, did do just three people drafting, but um, there are rules for a three-player mode. We're, we're just going to do, do like round-robin, a couple of sure. games against each other. Something like that. We're just going to show the game. We don't really care who wins the tournament of it, but that's we've all kind of constructed our decks from the draft, and now we're about to play. We set our health to 30, which we've already done, and then we draw five cards. I'm going to shuffle this up a little bit more. Shuffle it. And one, two, three, four, five. Alright, and now at this point we have a mulligan rule, and the mulligan rule is that we can discard any number of cards from our hand here, putting them on the bottom of our deck, and for every card you do that to, you lose two hit points, but then you get to draw replacement cards. Sorry, you lose a hit point for every card you put down like that. I have to make... I'm gonna get rid of her. I mean, that card. Don't worry about it. Uh, I don't like that it goes on the bottom of my deck. No, I'm gonna keep it. Go, let's play. Because you don't want you want to get it sooner. Than I want to make bottom. sure it comes out. That's all. It's a tricky strategy. Play so why don't we say you go first? Whoa. So the turn structure in this game is interesting. Uh, I'm, I, I'm guessing it's similar to like a, a Magic style game with a couple of changes. In that you can, you have no limit to the number of things that you can do. You can just play as many cards as you want. Oh, I'm oh. still in the wrong word. So yeah, first thing you do is you don't you don't draw a card because it's first turn. Okay, that's just the rule. Um, but then on future turns, you draw a card, and then any cards you had that were being prepared are going to be up, and they're going to be active, un, un, uh, unactivated. We can't say tapped, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then uh, each player is going to gain one gold. So cards have different gold resources. Like you know, We'll show them as you go along. But basically, on each turn, both he and I get a gold at the start of our turns. Okay. So I'm going to go and play a zero cost, put a zombie token into play. All right. And then it goes into my discard. Um, that was an event, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's an yep. event. And then if I he's down here. And then his uh, that ability is, um, anytime I play a red card, A may pay one health if I do recall this to my hand. Ooh, so I'll nice. play Soul Hunter for one, um, and then pay one health to recall this card back to my hand. Very cool. Very cool. And then play another one and put another zombie. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah. So zombie tokens, as you can see, the tokens are just <clears throat> basically creatures that are sitting aside. They're they're out of the game. You just basically bring them in. They can be summoned by various card effects. And this is what I was talking about with the cost of cards that are gold. This guy costs one gold. Jeremy's now, ex he spent the one gold that he has available to him. I can play turn. any zero cards of a card I have yep. like I did. And then now I'm say I'm done, I'm done. And these guys are all creatures, so they're all deploying. You are, you are now done on your turn. So now at the end of his turn, I have an opportunity to play any cards that I want to play. Uh, Either an event, I, event or cards. ambush. Sorry, ambush, right? uh, an event card or any creatures that have the word ambush on it. So I can look through my hand here. If there's any event cards I want to play, I can. Um, and I think I will play this, actually. This is pretty good. Don't do it. Uh, I'm going to play at the end of my turn. I'm going to play Wither. Whoa. And it's going to deal three damage to target champion and all other champions with the same name. So I'm going to kill both of these guys. What? Kill my zombies. What the heck, man? Who knows? Maybe that wasn't a good time to play that. <clears throat> I just don't want them coming back next turn. No, I didn't need to play that there. Whatever. I'm going to keep going. Too just, late. For some reason, I thought that was a one cost card. It was no. a zero cost. There's no point in playing that when I did. Whatever. I'm going to keep going. All right. My turn begins. at the Again, at the end of his turn, I, I've now played. I, I, I played event cards, so now you, your turn now starts over again. You can keep playing if you want. If there's anything else you want to do to answer what I just did. I do not. All right, I'm going to draw a card. Begin my turn. Ambush. No, wait. <laughs> you can't do anything yet. You don't have a window. Not yet. Ooh, I'm going to play. I think I'm going to play this guy. I'm going to put this guy in and play this Infernal Gatekeeper. He's a 9-9, and he costs one gold. And I have a tribute ability, which means when he comes into play, uh, and or whenever I play another red card with one uh, one gold cost, I can pay a health, and if I do, put a demon token into play. I am definitely going to pay. You put a demon token. Demon token. So I played a. I put this guy to play a tribute. I took it a health damage, and I'm summoning a demon token. And then let's see what else I want to do. Go ahead. You want to oh, you want to do anything before my turn I don't ends? Oh, do I? <clears throat> He's a nine nine. Mm -hmm. I will play play pyromancer. 
um, which has tribute, deal four damage to a target. Now, to be clear, that has ambush. So he's able to play that just like it's an event. Right now, all you can play is events, but he played her as an ambush. Kill my unit token. It's a good card. What's cool about that, though, is your turn's about to begin right now, and she's going to come into play. But now that you've played something, you play as many as you want. Now I get a chance to respond to that if I want. Nothing there. All right, I'm actually going to... I will end my turn again. Done. Done? So okay. now I ready my cards? Now your turn is ready. You can you bring both your cards up and ready and you draw a card. Draw. Yep. Your hand limit is seven, by the way. We haven't covered that yet. And we may play a couple things wrong. We've played this a handful of times. We're by no means experts on the epic card game. Uh, we just we think it's fun. It's usually pretty fast, too. It's a quick game. Um, he's a 9-9, nine nine, correct? Yes, and he's... He, he is being deployed right now, so I can't attack with him, but I do have the ability to block wow. if I choose. So what are you doing? So I'm attacking with Soul Hunter. You're not gonna, well, it doesn't matter. So you can, when you attack, turn sideways immediately. And does he have anything special? Um, when he died, when he is broken, deal five damage to target player. Ooh, wow. That's, I, could, I could hit myself if I want. You could, you could, to be fair. Target so player. You're now attacking with that one guy. Do you want to play any event cards before? Uh, no. Now I have an opportunity to play any event cards, and I will do that, potentially. Um, you have to pick blockers first, I think, don't you? No, I get to respond. I get to play event cards first, and then and then play, and then choose my blockers. I'll let you go through. I'll let you hit me for free. So you take five damage. Five damage. All right. So I'm going to slide down to 26. Nope, 25. Nope, 24. I knew math. I can math. Sorry, I'm thinking about something else. I will pay my one gold to deal four damage to you. With her? Is that her ability? Yep. It doesn't have her, it's just... Interesting. Okay, so just a straight four damage? Yep. Alright, that was powerful. And then... That's it. Yeah, I'm not going to attack with her? No, I need a blocker. Huh? No, I need to keep a blocker up. Oh yeah, that's right, potential blocking. Alright, so... Before your turn ends, I have an opportunity to play any event cards that I want to play. Okay, um, I will begin my turn. Put this person here. Draw a card. Um, that's a good one, that's a good one. Um... I should let you know, I've memorized every single card that we went through drafting, so I know all the options That's always that good, that's always good. I am going to play a palace guard, and this tribute says I may banish target champion. I'm going to banish him. What's banish? Bottom of my deck? Bottom of your deck, not in your discard pile. And so that does not trigger him breaking, because he was banished, right? That was my that was my plan right there. Oh, man. Now, oh. I have both of the... Oh, this guy, I'm sorry, he's down here. Thank you. He's a 6-8. Um, correct. I'm going to then attack with this gentleman. Okay. So I can now, play... I can play any events I want right now, and then you get an opportunity to play events. Um, no. Before before I pass to you, I am going to play Rage on this guy and give him 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. So four, four and Breakthrough. So he's a 4... Thir he's a 13-13, thirteen, thirteen, and he has Breakthrough. So any damage that goes past a blocker, it's going to hit you straight in the face. Okay. <clears throat> I will... And mm -hmm. that's a permanent 4-4? Four, four? Uh, oh, for this, for this, this turn, I'm oh, sorry. Okay. I, should have, I should have specified, yeah, it's, it's Rage. Target champion gains Breakthrough and 4-4 four, four this turn. I didn't want to have to use this guy so early. Oh, yep. The Lurking Giant has appeared. Ooh, so that was your action, right? So, well, and he has Ambush, so yeah, so he's, he's, he's stunned coming back there. And then 11-11, Ambush. Okay, so and lurking giant. so you've summoned him now. Now I have an opportunity <laughs> to respond as well with any cards that I want to respond with. Um, he's Lurking... I am not going to respond with anything. I'm going to pass. So you're going to choose your defenders now. So Turn them upside down. Upside down. Upside down. If you're going to choose to block, so with I will them. block and deal the damage. So now I'm not going to play. It doesn't matter. He's dead. Once you declare defenders again, we get another opportunity to play events. We're not doing that. Um, so then I'm going to deal 14 to your guy. So three carries through. Yep. And now again, this is where whenever whenever attacking happens, we basically clash and our damage is dealt at the same time. Yep. So he deals 11 damage to my guy, um, and I deal 14 damage to his guy, hmm. and... Damage doesn't stay forever, so it yeah. doesn't really matter. It's just you don't, damage stays for the round. Right. Yeah, so, so if I had something to deal damage from my hand, I could kill him, but... He didn't do enough to kill me, so I'm going to just slide myself right back here again. But I blocked 11 of the 13, 14, so I only take three damage. Yep. And I think I am... Done? You done yet? God. Yep, I am actually all set. And that was that in your discard pile? Well, he died, so he goes there, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So I think what I'll do next is... Hmm. I'm going to play uh, this Necromancer Apprentice. She's a zero cost, and then she has Blitz, which means she comes into play already prepared. 
-hmm. And then I'm going to use her ability to banish target card from discard pile. And if that card is a champion, put a zombie token into play. So I'm going to use her ability. And do you play for you? Yes. So what? I'm going to blitz, blow him up, and then I'm going to put a zombie token into That's play. That's silly. Again, it comes back in here. Banish? Is that what it is? Banish, bottom of your deck, yep. See, now the interesting part about her, she's a 1-1. One, one. I could have used her to attack, but instead I chose to expend yep. her ability. It's, it's expend, not tap. Yep. So I expended her for that. So uh, My turn is about to end. Do you want to play anything? Uh, you already spent your gold? Yeah. You did, yeah. I'm good. Uh, all right, go ahead. Um, Alright, uh, so she's there and ready. I draw one. What's he do? Interesting point, too, about combat while Jeremy's thinking about this turn is um, it, you can chump block in this game. So if I attack with 10 units all at once and he has one single 1 1 creature, he can block every single one of those guys with that one guy, provided I attacked all at once. So, so your dire hand so can stop it. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's right. So, example, if I attack with this, I can only play events. Yes, like, after you you play events. But if you play a character with Ambush, they can... No, Ambush happens after you've already declared an attack. So, yeah, you can put them into play to so attack. So I can't play someone who has, like, a tribute effect in the middle of, like, no, my no. attack? No, you only get a, you get an opportunity to play events. That's what you get after... Basically, it's like actions. Yeah. And it's important to note, too, as I was mentioning earlier, you can take as many... You can attack as many times as you want. You can play as many yep. cards as you want, as long as you can afford them, and you can attack as many times as you want. So if you might want to attack with ten guys at once... You may want to take 10 separate individual attacks. I think I have to go for it. So I'm going to play the Frost Giant, <clears throat> who has Blitz. Oh, wow. And his tribute says, Spend all champions' target players' controls. Uh, that hurts. They're all going to stand back up, but that means oh, I can't. So now, important, important distinction. Uh, if, if these guys are being down here being prepared, like they are, are being deployed, and they're standing like this down in the deployed area... I can still block with them by turning them upside down, but if they have abilities like this character here where she turns sideways, she wouldn't be able to use that. So if she's back here, excuse me, if she's back here, she could block and then still expend. But once a character is expended, like these guys are now, they, they can't do anything. Can't block they can't block at all. So, uh, yeah. So those guys are, that's cool. He just comes into play and... I will attack with Pyromancer. Okay, you're going to tap her, or excuse me, expend her. Which way is expend? This yeah, way? Either way, sideways is all that matters. And now I have an opportunity to play any event card. You have an opportunity. You want to play any event? No. That was a good move. That was a good play. And now I'm going to play this evil demon. Demon Breach. If it's your turn, put three demon tokens into play. Otherwise, put two demon tokens into play. So I'm going to play this here and put two demons into play. Stop demoning. Again, down here. Guys, here, I'll just put all these guys together. Two demon tokens into play. Also a good play. Do you want to play anything? Uh, no. Alright, then I'm going to declare defenders, and I will defend with... Ooh, I don't want to defend with... He's got blitz, right? So he can straight up attack right now. I'm going to block with one demon token. Okay. I'll put okay. him up here. So he dies, and she lives to fight another day. Mm -hmm. Anything well, else? No. Um, so, <clears throat> can I use this ability on your turn, or is it only events that I can be... Like, uh, can I use character can abilities on your turn? Play events and powers. That's a power. You can play it at a turn. Yep. Just checking for next turn, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a good point. Is, there's Unfortunately, the, the game is, I think, is really cool, but the, the rule book is, is kind of lacking in terms of, it's just a really tiny rule book to fit in this box, so it could have some, uh, could have a bigger rule book, which I think they might have just published as of me talking about this. Good. Done? Um, no, I'm not going to do anything at the end of your turn, so I'm going to take my turn. It's going to begin. Oh, this guy's good. So then all these guys are going to stand up, and this guy's going to come into play. What's up, Jeremy? What you got? Good stuff. Think I can win right now? No. She is, she's expended, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I will put my tokens together here, and then I'm going to play Drinker of Blood. He costs one gold. He's airborne. He's unbreakable in your turn. He says, when another champion is broken, if this card is in play, you gain two health, and each opponent loses two health. Now, I'm going to, I played him, but that triggers, since he's a one-cost person, it triggers this, where I will spend one of my hit points, knock myself down to 19, to put a demon token into play. I don't know why I'm putting all these guys into play. Um, first, I'm going to swing with... When I start it right off, he's got 12, huh? so I can attack with a couple guys if I want to hit hard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack with a gatekeeper and a demon. And I'm not going to play any events. So that's 13 damage? <laughs> that's 13 coming at you, yeah. 
if you take it to your face. Yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> oh, really? Down to 13. Alright, that was the attack there. Uh, I don't really want to keep attacking with these guys, though. That's a bummer. No target. You're down to 13, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just going to do 7 damage to your face. <clears throat> I don't like that you're doing direct damage to my face right now because that makes me worry that you have some other. Whoops. I'm at 12. Yep. Okay. That was during my turn. Yep. Now your turn begins. Okay. My turn. Stand my guy up. Draw a card. Alright. I'm going to play Inspiration. Banish two cards from your discard pile if they're both blue or something, but otherwise just draw one card. So banish two, draw one card. Okay. Zero. That's a free card to you. I'll spend my one to kill your 5 4 with my pyromancer. Deal 4 damage? Yeah. Oh, I liked him. Uh, I think that's all I can do for right now. Okay. You gonna attack with anybody? Right, your turn's ending? Mm, yeah. Alright, before your turn ends, I'm gonna play Amnesia. For my second ability here, I'm gonna do oh. spend one gold, draw two cards. Wait, Wait what just happened? At the end of his turn, I'm playing that event. Just using the. It's, it has two pieces this top one or the bottom one. Amnesia, yeah, dude. Oh, shut up, Brian. <laughs> God, you got me explaining cards again? You're such a... You're a good friend. Such an individual. Such a good friend. I like that. Um, Alright, uh, my turn began. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. At the beginning of my turn. <clears throat> Alright, didn't I have something with recall in here, too? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Yeah. When you recall this card, lose one health. I can pull that Demon Breach back, so I'm going to put this... On the top. You can pull things back from your discard pile with a recall ability. The Demon Breach is pretty good. What did that cost you? A gold? It costs it a gold would, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do it. Yeah, so at times like this, it's like you can have a huge wall of creatures, yep. but all it takes is two good spells to auto-target the, uh, the hero, and then it's over. That's mm -hmm. correct. Man, this is such a hard play right here. Gold. But there wasn't many. When we drafted our man, there wasn't many of those auto Yeah, there, wouldn't, so. there shouldn't be, because it's too... It's kind of... Sorry, these guys are all standing Nope, again. didn't do it. Didn't do it at the start of the count. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of an important detail to leave out here. I'm going to play... <laughs> I'm going to play Cleansing Light to draw two cards. You should. You should definitely do this. I may round. banish do all it. token champions. It's going to be really good I'm going to opt to not do so. What do you draw two cards? Why are you drawing so many cards? Because I like Stop cards. drawing cards. I like them. And then That's I'm going to play though. a... Huh? That was your gold. You I know. Okay. I'll play Rally the People, put a human token into play. The people? Was it? And uh, my champions get plus one attack this turn, so all my guys are plus one. Uh, I'm going to start this off <clears throat> with... This is what I want to attack with, so that should be at least 12. That's 10. 13. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I wanted to do. Sorry, I was grabbing her instead of him. And any events I can play now, I will pass. Any events you want to play before you declare defenders? Hmm. To block with him. All right. So you're gonna you're turn him upside right. down because he's attacking because he's I'm blocking. Blocking. And all of us attack and deal our damage at Hard once. Point. Unless you're playing we more have, events. Yeah, we have the option to play cards. So. I am gonna pass on playing additional events if you want to play. Any yes. Events. So I'm doing. I have 13 damage to deal, and you have eight damage to deal. You want who you want to deal to? I'm gonna I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna do two, two, and two. And uh, they only got plus one attack this turn, right? Yeah, they don't. Oh, that'd be great if they had plus yeah. one. Out. So yeah, yeah, these two guys are dead. 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 And all right. And so this guy's going to come back, but Blocks the, all the zombie damage. lives on. Um, I'm going to blow him up with her. Janice target card from discard pile, put a zombie token into play. Oh, that's so dumb. I love it. <laughs> so I disagree <laughs> that it's dumb. It's the coolest. 1-1 one, one doing so much. It's stupid that you get the... I should get the zombie or something. Like. I'm going to blow... I'm going to attack with this guy. You're gonna by himself. What? <laughs> I'm going to blow past your defenses. See, I'm going to attack with him alone. Um, all right. There's a card in there that does that. It banishes all champions on all sides, and yeah. then every for every creature killed, puts a zombie token into play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually, and it's for both sides, yeah. Yeah. So, so if I block with this, I can use its deal four damage ability at the same time, right? Like You can use it as an event beforehand. Right, right. Yeah. okay. So, yep. I'm, uh, uh, so I'm going to return that guy to your hand. Ooh. Hasty yeah. retreat. Um, uh, if he was unblocked, you draw a card. He... You draw her. If he was unblocked? Yeah. Picture is insane. Because he was attacking, you hadn't chosen a blocker yet, so... What? 
if he was on, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I haven't blocked. If I put a blocker up. You didn't even pick your blockers yet. Right, so sure, yeah. yeah, he's unblocked, so I draw a card. Yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right. All right, let's see what you got. I'll tag with this guy. Yep. Let's see what you got. Um, so mm -hmm. I will deal one damage, deal four damage, and block. So okay, so you deal die. the four damage instantly, and then you're... Also block, so they both die. Okay. Um, yeah, he's dead. Alrighty, and I think that's going to do it for my turn. And so before my turn ends, you want to play anything? No. Nope. Okay, go ahead. So I'm going to play my oof, Force Mage Apprentice, which has Blitz. Mm -hmm. uh, I can expend it to deal two damage to a target card. Uh, to a target. To so a target. It can be me or yeah. anything else. Yeah. I'm going to do two damage to your zombie. Uh, that thing. Yeah, I'll do the play oh, this okay. next to and then if I play a blue card, I can prepare the card. So I'm gonna play Oh this. nice. So I'm gonna play this guy. A good blue card that costs a gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so great. Prepare and then blow her up. Um, I don't know. I'll, oh, because it puts zombies in play. Yes, I forgot. I didn't care about the preparing or the banishing part, but the mm -hmm. zombie part is on. I'm gonna again I'm put my demons on top of here just so I know I have them. Oh that's right. That thing rose from discard. I kept thinking it was just one of your in play ones. All right, that was good, and that's a, what is it, a 6-8? Six, 6-8. Eight. Six, eight. Airborne, Ambush, Loyalty 2. You didn't have Loyalty, right? All right, so now your turn is ending. <clears throat> it is. So I will play Ambush, Standard Bearer. Tribute, put two human tokens into play. Razor turns about to end, and he's a champion, so he's going to come in down here as well. And he is, your other good champions have plus two attack. Wow. So my turn is going to begin. I'm going to draw this card, put this guy like this. All these dudes are now in play. And I'm feeling pretty good about this turn here. Yeah. I'm going to play this for my one card on my turn. Um, tribute, my banished target champion. <laughs> yeah, did I die now? I think so. Let's just, we'll play it out real quick. So, three, banished your target nine, champion. He's in play here. And I've got 369. Why don't I just hit you with enough to do... You have nothing to defend, right? I don't have but what I would do would probably be safe is attack. I don't have a hand. Oh, you have a hand? Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, is this blue? Oh, I should not, then. Wait, you attack Why? with everything? Block with your zero one. <laughs> um, yeah, if I, so if I if I took the risk... I would, what was your risk? I, I would have spent this to draw two cards, Yeah. and then I would have been able to do loyalty, which would expend all champions. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I, I, my next two cards were blue. Yeah, well, this loyalty only procs when you play them from your hand. Right, no, 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 I'm just saying. I didn't, oh, I didn't right. have two blue cards... So if I played this to draw two, the next two were yeah. actually blue. <laughs> that would have been so ridiculous. Oh man, but. crazy. That was actually a pretty close game. I was, I when you got me down at twelve health and you did that straight seven damage, I was like, uh oh. You yeah. had too many, guys, you had too many stupid tokens. I had so many minions. That was, oh man, spells I love it. Spells are insane. You could just bypass and do damage. All right, why don't we have? Um, you want Brian and Jeremy go next? You guys do another game.